Do you have a small business? Do you have employees? If so, stay tuned because these tips are a game changer. Grab your staff, watch the video, and get ready to kick some butt in 2022. Today I'm going to go over the three essential, essential, essential customer service skills. You've got to have this if you really want to make your business grow and grow well in 2022. They are basically a must have. All right, skill number one. It may come as no surprise, but it's eye contact. So let's see, if I was start to talk to you on YouTube land and I was to start to look over here like I'm doing right now, actually how engaged do you feel like I am? How are you feeling right now? Take note, how are you feeling? There's a video that talks about this very thing. 70% of buying experience are based on how a customer feels they are being treated. It's a feeling. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? <laughs> Doesn't it feel like I'm really not paying attention to you? It's just extremely annoying. When you go into any kind of retail shop, a coffee shop, heck, even if you're a guest at a dinner party and people don't look at you, they don't look at you in the eye, it feels extremely dismissive. Tip number one, eye contact. Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Right away when they come in, just make eye contact. The second essential skill is a smile. If you are face to face with customers, this is extremely important. We all know that even if you're on the phone, a smile can be felt. Remember, feeling? A smile is an integral part of a customer experience, of having a great customer experience. Take a look at these pictures. When you look at this picture, what are you feeling? What's that person saying to you with their face? Here's your first picture. If I came into a retail store and he's bearing, boring, bearing down with me with his eyes like that, I, I don't know. I just, I just don't feel super welcomed. How about you? I feel like I might, I might get punched or I don't know. He's just not a very happy man. All that the person did, the photographer did, is ask this gentleman to smile. The difference a smile can make is remarkable. The first, I wanna punch you. The second, oh my God, I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> Which one would you want, obviously? Let's take a look at the second picture. First picture, oh man, she is not happy with whatever we're gonna do right now, not at all. Second picture, well gosh, dang. Yeah, she's happy, she's giggling, she's liking it. Now, if this was your daughter or your student or your neighbor or your friend, it's clear <laughs> which one I would like to have greet me when I walked in. Let's take a look at the third picture. Okay, I have to admit those steely blue eyes are green or what are they? I don't know, that's, that's not too bad. But if I'm walking into a retail establishment and that's what I see, he looks a little irritated with me, like I'm annoying him, like I'm a bother. Second picture, holy crap what a difference does that make obviously which one of these would you rather have greet you when you walked into any retail establishment coffee shop restaurant boutique hotel doesn't matter a smile communicates beyond language now essential skill number one is eye contact number two is a smile we have got to smile to our customers if we want to communicate that we welcome them, that we're glad that we're there, that we are excited that they're there. Pretty simple, isn't it? Two little things, eye contact and a smile. If you're liking this training and you would like more of this because it's important for small businesses, check out the Power of People Academy. It's a course that I've created for owners to insert into their businesses to train these soft skills, these people skills, to let their Employees know how incredibly valuable they are and to give them skills like this so that when they're left alone or even when they're not alone, they can give amazing customer service experiences. And we know when you have amazing customer experiences, then you get repeat customers. It's a win-win-win. Check it out. I'll link it here for you. All right, the third and final of our very important essential customer service skill is a greeting. I call this the trifecta, eye contact, smile, and a greeting. So eye contact, smile, and a greeting. There you go, let's do a visual. Eye contact, smile, and a greeting. Ooh, 
here we go. <laughs> a greeting is really important. Imagine walking into your favorite store and getting this. You're thinking of you in the Wizard of Oz or something? Do you have a brain? Is there a brain in there? Or is it stuffed with straw? Yeah, no, that's kind of, I don't know, it's just uncomfortable. As a customer, if I value that experience, I want to know that I get the same experience every single time I go in. If you want me to bring people with me or to send people without me, you not only have to have a consistent quality product, but you have to have consistent experience for me as well. If I go in and every time I go into your coffee shop, I have this great, amazing cup of coffee and the, the service is hit or miss, I'm not going to bring someone there that I want to impress. And I certainly, sure the heck, am not going to send someone there on their own. So having a greeting creates a consistent experience for your business and it gives your staff purpose for what they do. Quick example to show you what I mean by it gives people purpose. If you come into my store and I say, hi, well wait, I give you the eye contact, the smile, and the greeting, and my greeting is, hey, yo, what's up? The mood is conversational. I want to have a chat. If you come into my store and I say, hello, nice to see you today. Different kind of a mood that you're setting for me as a customer. If I come into your store and you say, oh, welcome, happy that you're here. Please let me know how I can help you find anything. Well, my goodness, you are setting completely different stages with each of those greetings. This is really important for you to have a cohesive ingredient Ingredient? No, greeting with your staff so that when customers come in, they are having a consistent experience, you set up the expectations, and they really want to come back because you can guarantee a great experience every single time because I know you got the great product down. Quick recap, three essential customer service skills. What are they? Here we go. <laughs> eye contact, smile, and a greeting. That's it, right there. We got it down. All right, I will link to another video that you really should know. They're the five most frightening customer service statistics out there. If you're a small business owner, you really need to know them. I hope you enjoyed this training. If you did, please leave me a comment below. I would love to know, actually, what it is that your greeting is at your business.